All right, well, sixth graders, we're getting here into chapter four, dealing with percents and decimals and fractions. And uh, this is lesson 4.2. And our first set of instructions is to write the percent as a decimal. So these are all percents. We got 82%, three hundredths of a percent, 7%, 475%, 17.2%. And essentially, when I turn the percent into a decimal, all I do is take the number and divide it by 100. And when I divide the number by 100, what I'm doing is I'm taking the decimal and I'm moving it two places to the left. So you may say, well, if when I look at 82%, there's no decimal. Well, when I think about 82, there actually is a decimal right there. We just don't normally put it in. And so when I divide by 100, I'm moving it two places to the left, which means my decimal goes right there, which means when I turn 82% into a decimal, it's actually 82 hundredths. And that's my final answer. In sixth grade, that's all there is to it. When I have three hundredths of a percent, once again, there's already a decimal here. So I'm gonna take that decimal and I'm gonna move it two places to the left. And I'm gonna fill those empty spots with zeros. And my final answer is gonna be decimal zero, 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 three, or three ten thousandths. Seven percent, I think about seven. Where would the decimal go? Right there. I'm dividing by 100, which means I'm moving the decimal two places to the left. One, two. I fill that empty spot with a zero. Seven hundredths is what I get as a decimal. 475%. Once again, if I envision a decimal, it's gonna go right there. I'm dividing by 100. So I'm gonna move that decimal once, twice to the left. My decimal is now there between the four and the seven. Four and 75 hundredths. Last one in this section, 17.2%. Same idea, here's another one where there's already a decimal there. I just take that decimal, I move it once, twice to the left because I'm dividing by 100. There's two zeros in 100, so I'm moving it twice to the left. I end up with decimal 172, 172 thousandths. Now we're also gonna take a, a couple minutes and look at the exact opposite. Write the decimal as a percent. And since we're doing the exact opposite, we were originally taking percents and turn them in, turning them into decimals, now we're taking decimals and turning them into percents. So you've probably figured out, well, if I'm doing the opposite thing, I should technically be just doing the opposite thing mathematically, which is true. I'm going to multiply the decimal by 100, which means I'm going to move the decimal twice to the right. As the number gets bigger, the decimal moves to the right. If I want the number to get smaller, the decimal will move to the left. If I get 83 hundredths, I want to turn it into a percent. I'm going to put a decimal there. My final answer is going to be 83. Now you may be asking, why the number 100? Why did we divide by the number 100? Why did we multiply by the number 100? Why is 100 the number we're using? Well, you should remember from the previous video that percent means Per hundred. Whenever I'm dealing with percent, I'm always dealing with things in relation to 100. If something is 83%, that means 83 out of 100. And then those numbers are adjusted because you're not always talking about 100. You may have did a, done a survey of 55 people and they're saying about 83% uh, said their favorite color was blue. And it'll adjust the numbers uh, to make 83%. Later on in this chapter, we'll, we'll talk about how to figure out what 83% of 55 is. 
Uh, but that's a different video coming up later. But the reason why we use the number 100 is because the percent is per 100. Now, when I have 5 and 15 hundredths, I'm going to multiply by 100, which means I'm going to move the decimal once, twice to the right. So I'm going to end up there. I'm going to end up with 515. Here I have 41 ten thousandths. I'm going to multiply it by 100. I'm going to move the decimal once, twice to the right. I'm going to end up here, sixth grade, with 41 hundredths of a percent. Forgot to put my percent sign there. Always put the percent sign. 83 and 83% are not the same thing. 515 and 515%, not the same thing. 41 hundredths, 41 hundredths of a percent, not the same thing. All right, a couple more. Here I have 371 ten thousandths. Remember, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. I'm going to multiply by 100, which means I'm going to take the decimal. I'm going to move it once, twice to the right. 3.71. 3 and 71 hundredths. 3 and 71 hundredths of a percent. Last one, 963 thousandths. Multiplying by 100, moving the decimal once, twice to the right, I get 96.3, and that's going to be 96 and 3 tenths percent. All right, that's turning decimals into percents, percents into decimals. We'll talk to you later, sixth grade. Bye.